The Australian Medical Association has rejected claims of widespread rorting of the Medicare system. In an article for the Australian Medical Journal, Dr Tony Webber said the scheme's dysfunctional and inadequate safeguards mean up to $3 billion is being wasted every year. Dr Steve Hambleton is from the Australian Medical Association in Brisbane. Well, look, I don't think uh, the AMA agrees with those figures. I don't think the majority of the profession would agree with them either. Certainly they've been extrapolated from uh, Dr Webber's experience with the PSR and he's seeing a very small number of the profession. And we do need to make sure we're spending money appropriately, but these sort of figures, uh, I really don't think uh, there's any justification for that sort of number. But do you acknowledge that there may well be gaps in the system where rorting could be taking place? Look, I think if there's a small number of people doing the wrong thing, we do need a strong audit program. We do need to make sure that those people are called to account and we do need to make sure that uh, they're done in a professional way. And that's why we support the Medicare audit process and the professional services review on top of that. We don't want to extrapolate those sort of figures though to the whole profession because I think we're doing some very good things with Medicare, in particular these GP management plans and team care arrangements, which have moved us forward from just episodic care to actually a structured approach to chronic disease management. And that's been very good for the health of Australians. You mentioned chronic disease there. What about these claims that the referral system to refer chronically ill patients to services like dentistry, for instance, are, are right for rorting? Look, I think we've got to look at uh, where these things are being used. Currently the program is uh, focused on those individuals with chronic disease and both the dentists and I guess the doctors have come out and said perhaps we aren't targeting them well enough. Uh, but uh, certainly the way the programs are being run, uh, it means that um, you know, we, we, there are better ways of doing it and the, uh, the Council of General Practice in, in the AMA has come up with a chronic disease plan which actually saves the government money, takes some of the red tape out and actually makes it a lot easier to engage allied health professionals. But just briefly, Doctor, is there any way of quantifying where these breaches in the system might be happening? Well, look, we do need to take advice from the PSR. We do need to make sure there's a strong audit program. Uh, the audit program has been upgraded in the last few years. They actually are able to look at much more in the way of medical records, and we support that, provided it's done in a fair way and protects patient privacy. So I think we should uh, let the system uh, do what it has to do and uh, we need to make sure that anyone who is rorting the program is called to account. But to extrapolate that small number to the wider profession I think is unfair. Dr Steve Hambleton from the Australian Medical Association, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.